What are the best and worst things about using headphones? Best and worst things about headphones are, well the best thing is when you just want to listen to your favourite tune really loud and you actually have it on you and your headphones are working and for me that's usually on a train or a coach or some kind of journey where I just need a little pick me up and it's there and you just go into your own little world and stare out of the window, I really like that. The worst thing is when you get it out of your pocket and it's a spider's nest of tangled wires, which happens every time. I don't even know how headphones do that in your pocket, but ev I've now got to the point where I use one of those little wire clips every time I put it in my pocket. Oh, it happens. Oh, there you go, there's an example. Normally I'll have a, a little wire clip and I'll just, before I put it away, I do it because it's just so annoying. And the other thing that's really annoying is the connections is like the bottom, that bit at the bottom and these bits there always go and they always turn into some revealed wires and then it starts to go a bit intermittent and that's really annoying. <laughs> Why do you use your headphones? Why do I use them? Yeah. Uh, why do I use them? Okay. Well, I'm an editor, so I tend to edit with headphones on. Sometimes, it depends what I'm editing. If I'm editing music or doing video, I'll kind of flick between speakers and headphones because you really hear detail better with, head with good headphones on. But it isn't how most people are going to listen to it. So if you produce something with headphones on for somebody to watch on TV, they're not going to hear what you heard. So it's a bit of an illusion. But if you want to get into the detail of it, then that's great. So as a producer, I'll flick between one and the two. Even different speakers are completely different. Uh, also, I'm a bit deaf these days, being old, so if I'm watching a film past 11 at night, I'll put it on the headphones because I like it quite loud and it would just be really obnoxious if I had the tally turned up that loud. Do you think that popular brands of headphones are necessarily good headphones? Well, you're asking a question about headphones now and it's slightly missing the point for me because the thing is, you know, when I was a lad in medieval times when people used to listen to records, then the dynamic range of a record is really, really big. There's a, there's a huge range of frequencies, which if you had decent spe um, speakers and decent hi-fi system or different, uh, you know, decent headphones, you were really getting a full picture. If you're listening to an MP3, that dynamic range has already lost about two thirds of its range. So no good headphones are gonna put that range back. You can't add something by good headphones. So good headphones are good headphones, but if you're listening to an MP3, it's shit. It's a shit sound file. It's, you know, a JPEG is the image with half the information taken out because you're only seeing it on a 72 dots per inch screen. An MP3 is made for people to carry it around so you can have a thousand tunes on your iPod or whatever, but you're missing half the tune. If you're bothered about that, no, no amount of good headphones is going to repair an MP3. So if, you, if you've recorded your stuff on your iPod as good quality WAV files, then it would make a difference. That's probably not the answer you wanted. How many pairs of headphones have you had over the years and why? That's, uh, uh, that is impossible to actually answer how many pairs of headphones I've had in my life. I would guess... That's one of those questions, isn't it? Well, more than 20, probably more than 50, I would guess, in my life. I'm old. You know, and they get battered, don't they? So... Depends when you talk about headphones. I mean, these these look these things are shit. This is what you get with your iPhone. The generic. I mean, they're, they're rubbish. They're really rubbish. They're all right for chatting on the phone. The good phone things, with the, with the little thing, and they're all right for listening to MP3s, I guess. But I I I don't know about other people, but I always find. I actually listen, I watched a film last night with these on. I find that they never quite fit 
and so what I find myself doing is that and that suddenly if you do that you suddenly get the bass back and it's like well, why do you have to do that with them to make them work that's rubbish because if I do that they're always like nearly f I don't know they just don't seem to be very ergonomically designed like if you're in a band you can have uh, earplugs made up that they actually measure your ear and make you custom made uh, earplugs and you can have a a frequency you can have whatever frequency you want taken out so if you're a drummer you can have earplugs made for you that fit in perfectly that take out the sort of cymbals and the snare sound the really loud sounds turn that down a bit but you can still hear what you're playing so i sort of think well why aren't headphones like that why aren't they, why can't you get some why can't they pop something in your ear take a quick mold boom there you go Anytime you order some headphones, have them proper, custom made, nicely fitted. Yeah, not that piece of shit. Where do you see the future of headphones in the next 10 years? Uh, the future of headphones for me would be, I would like everything in my house to be completely wireless. I have spent most of my life unravelling wires and losing them and connections going and tripping over them. Surely it's time we could get rid of wires. That's one thing I'd like to see in the future. And But I am a bit of a sci-fi fan, so I can't help thinking I wouldn't mind some kind of implants that, you know, just stick them in and then... I mean, I've got to the point now where I'm borderline hearing aid you know, for, for class work and some of my jobs, you, for example, dear, when you kind of speak all quiet, Kai, what you're saying. So now I'm thinking about, okay, I, don't, I, I could do that. Hearing aids are quite invisible these days, not a big deal. If I need it to turn the sound up, but I'd quite like to have, uh, I don't know, some kind of sci-fi implant that with a little graphic equaliser in it and, you know, sort of adjustable features. Fade some people out, turn some people up. <laughs>